evening. What's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here on this uh, Sunday evening. July 18th, 2021 is a date about 8.09 p.m. West Coast time here in California with the latest quake on the globe. It's going to be a 4.6 over here around the Indonesia area. Right smack dab there in a mix of a bunch of prior earthquakes. This 4.6, just the latest quake uh, on the uh, globe. What do we got going on here? Let's go ahead and check this out on a couple different maps. See if I can get this pulled up once again. Um, to do there we go. All right, so let me go ahead and refresh this real quick. Yellowstone map. See what's going on up there. Yellowstone earthquake swarming still continuing, although not quite as active as last night. Over the past couple hours here, you can see a handful of microquakes hitting the. Uh, uh, Lake Yellowstone area, Yellowstone Lake. But uh, not as intense as we've seen uh, uh, pretty much last night, early this morning. So things calming down uh, temporarily. Who knows, it may just completely stop. Over here to the um, northwest, we did see a little bit of a, uh, a larger quake. Not, well, not really a large quake, but a separate independent quake uh, from this swarm. Uh, the upper epicenter was somewhere over here. It looks like maybe Maple Creek area. Um, this is going to be this earthquake right here. They've been having a little bit of a earthquake swarm themselves. Uh, two separate swarms there at, uh, at Yellowstone. Of course, the most intense one here uh, over by the lake. Underneath the lake, I should say. But uh, still keep an eye on things. Just kind of mellowing out temporarily there in Yellowstone. There is a 4.6 earthquake over around the Indonesia region. Some movement off the coast, uh, or actually right around Japan, Tokyo area. Uh, a couple fours kicking off in that region. West coast, of course, last night I was sleeping when this 5.1 hit. I did not feel that uh, earthquake. Of course, it didn't wake me up. Um, good possibility I may have felt it, more than likely, uh, if I had been awake. Uh, so that 5.1 kicking off there, just, just right smack dab off the uh, Mendocino Point area, kind of into the uh, Cascadia zone, uh, mega thrust area. Uh, and this was somewhat of a fairly deep earthquake for this region as well. Uh, 30 kilometers below the surface, uh, somewhat deep. Followed up by a trail of uh, some movement as well, some deep movement, uh, a little bit closer inland. Kind of think, uh, you know, this is all pointing towards a push um, of the subduction zone here, the Cascadia subduction zone. Um, not, not nothing to play around with. We don't want to see that thing go. Uh, be some bad news there for uh, everyone living along the coast. It would not be good. And of course, inland as well. And uh, we'd be down for uh, quite a while. It'd take a lot of, uh, a lot of months, if not years, to recover from a Cascadia earthquake. Uh, looks like quite a few folks did report feeling that 5.1. Of course, it is in the seismically active zone, uh, historically. Uh, looks like uh, Eureka, Fortuna, Redding. Looks like even some folks down around the Chico area where I, where I live uh, reported feeling that as well. Uh, looks like San Francisco, a few, few reports down there as well. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty good distance, but 5.1... Uh, shake things up a little bit um, moving over here towards the north or to, to the east Ridgecrest uh, area down south looking kind of minimal for earthquake activity but up here around the Antelope Valley still seeing a, a pretty good significant uh, aftershock sequence there nothing major uh, as far as any major aftershocks go just a whole bunch of microquakes there and, and a pretty good uptick within the last hour the red circles uh, showing that movement. Uh, let's see here. Washington, once again, still seeing some uh, deeper movement. I think uh, we may have covered that last night. I can't remember if that was there or not. I think it was. Um, and, of course, nothing showing up there on Yellowstone map, surprisingly, even though there's been lots and lots and lots of earthquakes. It's just USGS has not got around to indicating... Uh, the uh, map there, which uh, I 
um, you know, it takes some, it definitely takes them some, some, some time to, uh, I was just checking something out here. They put out an update yesterday about the swarm, uh, saying that they detected 280 events. The largest so far is still 3.6. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they put out another update. Maybe they will tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday, so a uh, good chance they may do a, another update on that swarm that's taking place. Like I said, it's probably well over 300, possibly 400 earthquakes or so at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, Southern Cal uh, looks like your typical everyday plate boundary and uh, fault systems out here, seeing their microquake movement. Nothing uh, really to report down here. No major swarming at the moment. Uh, just kind of keep an eye on the Cascadia over here. Just a lot of movement off there in recent times. Um, Oklahoma, a little bit of movement as well. Uh, what do we got here in the Puerto Rico area? Southwest area, once again, getting that uh, pretty good swarming going on. Quite a bit of movement out there in the southwest area. Keep an eye on that region as well. Puerto Rico Trench seeing a little bit of activity. 3.6 uh, in the uh, close to that subduction zone there. And South America. Some further deep movement as well along this Peru Chile Trench inland. We're down dip downstream here. Bunch of fours kicking off. And uh, a little 5.1 way out here. Way out here kind of away from the plate boundaries um, and looking at uh, at least historical seismic activity well over here along the plate boundary of course there's going to be some looks like uh, well, it looks like there was a cluster there at one point but um, where the epicenter hit not uh, not a whole lot of movement there around that 5.1 Uh, over here along the, uh, what do we got here? Iran area, looks like. Pretty good cluster of quakes striking uh, in, the, uh, in the region out there. 5.4, the largest so far. All uh, defaulted about 10 kilometers or so below the surface. A little bit of further movement down here as well. Uh, Mediterranean regions looking somewhat quiet, a little bit of a little bit of movement uh, off the coast there near Greece, 4.4. Uh, what do we got for a trimmer map? Let's see what's going on here in the trimmer department. Once again, still some movement here into Northern California and Southern Oregon. Um, so definitely uh, playing a part in the surface quaking that we're seeing there off the coast. So a, belt, a lot of built up stress here. I always think, I, I'm pretty sure that um, whenever we see lots of trimmer, uh, or trimmer in general, I think that's a good indication of uh, uh, a lot of back building of pressure up here at the surface. I believe that's uh, could be a major trigger when it comes to uh, producing the mega quake there along the Cascadia. We'll just have to see once that hits uh, what uh, you know what the trimmer was like. So we'll get a pretty good indication uh, historically, anyway. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Have a good night. Uh, stay safe out there. Enjoy your end of the weekend. Uh, tomorrow's Monday, so uh, take care, play it safe, and we'll chat you guys another time. Peace out.